Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Omega Generation TV. For today, we are here with the Reverend Edwin. Yesterday, Reverend Edwin spoke to us about quiet time. He shared with us how to have it, why it's necessary, so many different things. And we just want to ask him a few questions before he leaves. Reverend Edwin, you're welcome. Thank you very much, Edwin. Thank you so much for having us. Um, so, Reverend Edwin, what are some of the ways you recommend to make quiet time more interesting? Um, what will make quiet time interesting, first of all, is your own personal desire you see because if you don't have a desire for god uh, anything that you do um you know it looks like you're just going through the nation mm. everything that you do in this world there's there's desire that comes with it for instance you ask me uh, why am i in this shirt okay. it's because i have passion for football okay. i love football and i love manchester united <laughs> so uh watching Spending two hours to watch Good. Manchester United is easy for me. Mm. Uh, spending money to buy a shirt like this is easy for me, yeah, because the passion and the desire is there. Uh, um, sometimes you even watch uh, pre-match, you know, yeah. uh, conferences <laughs> and then post-match <laughs> conferences. You know, why are you spending time watching all of this? Because there's a passion for it. A passion you get it. it. In the same way, for us to uh, have fellowship with God, we must have intense passion for God. You know, we must desire God. Okay. Bible says as the deer pants for the water mm -hmm. boots, so my soul pants after you, longs after you. It's an expression of a life and death issue. Mm -hmm. Alright. Mm -hmm. So um the deer is panting for the water boots. Uh, it needs the water boots to, to sustain its life. Okay. Okay. You get it. Mm -hmm. So in the same way if you have that sense mm -hmm. of I need God that alone is enough fuel for us to enjoy our fire time. Mm -hmm. All right. No matter what is the aesthetics you may add to it, it may never really be interesting until the pure mm -hmm. desire and the passion is there. Okay. Okay. So until the desire is there, no matter what you try to do, it just might not add up. But Reverend Edwin, so what if the desire is not there? Like I want the desire to be there, but it's not there. So so we pray for it. Okay. You see, because you see, one thing about desiring God is that it's not really about us. Okay, it is first of all about God. The Bible says that we love Him because He first loved us. Okay, and anyone who has encountered God knows that they they didn't really most of the time go out seeking for God. Mm -hmm. It's God who comes to seek for us, mm -hmm. and then when He finds us, based on the encounter with we have with Him. We develop a desire for him. Mm -hmm. Just like the Bible says, Jesus has come to uh, seek and save the lost. You know, and in seeking and saving us, we also seek him. Mm -hmm. Alright. So he generates the desire within our hearts, mm -hmm. within our spirits, for him. Alright. And one one God gives you that you have to feed it. You have to feed it. You have to feed it. You have to and now begin to desire more and more of him because he has already created the passion in you. It is when you don't feed it that it begins to die. Okay. So what do you do to keep the desire? Just feed the desire. Feed the desire. As uh, 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 newborn babes desire the sincere milk. All right. So uh, being a newborn babe is not your action. It is is an act of God. It is an act of the grace of God. You know, and he brings you into fellowship with him. Mm -hmm. So now you must desire him, okay. desire his word, mm -hmm. desire his presence. You know, you must seek him in prayer, you okay. must seek him in Bible study, you must desire him in worship, mm -hmm. you know, in intimate moments, mm -hmm. in fasting wow. and all of that. So wow. these are the things that you do to sustain the okay. fire that has been ignited within you. Wow. Wow. Okay. So um, one of the sure ways to you know grow the desire is pray. pray 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 and pray and the desire will continue to grow and you know as you fool it god will help you and um, just the last question reverend edwin and um, you know there are some of the things who love listening to secular music they watch all sorts of movies they are on social media do these things affect our relationship but i mean they are consistent with their quiet time but they are also consistent with the secular music does it really affect or they have to stop listening to music they have to stop doing a whole lot of other things to answer that question, I'll share my personal experience with you. Okay. I'm someone who loves movies. movies okay. I can tell you for a fact. I remember when I was uh, in the university, those were the days of 
prison break and, yeah. and 24 hours <laughs> and and when we started watching we can we can spend the whole of the day you know 24 hours the concept is that uh every every episode is happening within an hour wow so we have 24 episodes so it's virtually about 24 yeah. hours yeah. now we can uh, binge watch a whole season wow spending all that time watching that movie so it tells you how the time in my life when uh, god ignited you know my love for him okay all of a sudden movies and and i love music too you know movies and all those things were not as appealing to me mm-hmm. as spending time with god wow and the truth wow. of the matter is that the more i spend time mm-hmm. reading my bible mm-hmm. listening to messages i was listening to uh, people like our general overseer the finance author i was listening to reverend mr danaba i'm reading my bible anything that i see i am writing it i'm spending time with, i was spending time mm-hmm. more time with god wow. I grew very quickly mm. in my understanding mm. of God, in my love for God, in my uh, relationship with God, in my understanding of spiritual things. All right, because I wasn't feeding on things that I used to feed on. Okay. Um, I'm not saying that cut movies out uh, 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 totally, but the truth of the matter is that the Bible says a good man, out of the good treasure of his heart, mm. had brings forth good things. Mm. And an evil man mm. out of the evil treasure of his heart brings forth feed yourself with mm. is what you produce. Wow. Your eye wow. are the gates to your heart. Your uh, uh ears mm. are gates to your heart. Mm. Um the things you feel and you, you sense yeah. are the, the, the gates to your heart. Okay. So these things you are watching, you are uh listening to, mm. they are feeding your your, they go to your mind which is your heart okay so it then informs the condition of your heart mm. which then will also come out of you wow out wow. of the good treasure wow. of his heart will bring forth good things mm. out of the evil treasure of his heart will bring forth evil things. and like the bible says uh uh you guard your heart with all the mm. because mm. out of it mm. proceeds the issues of life so if you ask me as a christian should i be listening to worldly music i'll tell you no mm-hmm. not because I am here to tell you that uh, uh, um, it's it's sinful or something. That's a discussion for another day. It also depends on the message in the music mm-hmm. you are listening to. But when I listen more and more to uh, gospel music and I'm proper gospel worship music, not just anything mm-hmm. called, called gospel music, it feeds my spirit. I sense the presence of God. Mm-hmm. I get closer to God. It makes me pray more. Mm. It, it it brings me intimately and deeply closer to God. Okay. All right. If I listen to other things, it's only feeding my soul. Mm. And uh, there was a time. Let me share this with you. Like when I told you that I cut off movies. Yeah. My friend know, know that I love movies. So there was a time. Uh, there was a release of this series called Spartacus. You know, it's a very interesting movie. And and I like the setting. I love movies like that. You know. Um, um pur- purporting to be set to within the asian roman mm. history mm. uh has something t- to do with the gladiators fighting in the mm. arenas and all of that but the other aspect of it was that it was very um you know uh, sexual mm. there, were also, there were a lot of sexual scenes in it mm. so when my friend gave me the dvd just watching the um first episode after a few minutes i saw all this sexual and it started to mm. you know affect me and so i just stopped it and i gave it to my friend i said you know what i love this movie but i can't watch it because of this and this and that and my friend asked me, why are, are you are you a child you are past 18 years you know so the world's philosophy is that i'm 18 years so i can't watch anything mm. but i may be 18 years in age in physical form mm. But what I watch is going to pollute mm. my mind and it's going to pollute my spirit. And it's going to cause me to begin to think about things mm. I want to stay away from. Wow. It's going to cause wow. me to begin to desire things I don't want. Already, as it were, I am struggling with it because as a human being, mm. I have those feelings. Mm. Then now I mm. feel those feelings and the next thing is I'm looking at where I can go and satisfy those feelings. Mm. So the best thing is I stay off. Mm. If you're a Christian, and you really want to feed your spirit mm. 
the Bible says that um, we should be full of the Spirit. If you are going to feed your spirit, the best thing is to feed yourself with spiritual things. Feed yourself with the Word of God. Feed yourself uh, uh, worshiping God. And you know, yes, we are we are we are also beings of emotions. Sometimes we want a bit of entertainment, and there are enter- a lot of entertainment options out there mm. that you can engage without necessarily polluting yourself. So whilst you are trying to do that, be circumspect about it. You know, don't just consume any and everything. A Christian must be set apart. You mm. can't live your life in you can't just consume everything. Mm. It is not healthy for, for your spiritual growth and your spiritual well being. Wow. wow. So much wisdom Reverend Edwin has shared with us that if you want to go quickly, then you might have to cut off some things. You have to be very circumspect about what you're taking in even when you want to have entertainment. Thank you so much Reverend for your time. Thank you for having me, Isaac. You're welcome.